Everybody, this is a Lamley preview, and I am super excited to show you a brand new product from Hot Wheels. It is Hot Wheels ID. It is just being released right now today at Apple stores all over the United States. In fact, there's a big shindig at Century at the Century City Mall at the Apple store. There, Hot Wheels has pulled out all the stops, giving away stuff, showing off the product. If you're nearby, you should definitely go this weekend. But if you're not or you're watching this video later, this is Hot Wheels ID. It is everything that Hot Wheels has been and everything that it wants to become. And I'm super excited to show it off for you today. We're going to put this video in two parts because there are two main components. Obviously, the cars themselves, that's the most important thing. And then there is online play and physical play. So we'll kind of showcase both throughout. But Hot Wheels has sent me both. Obviously some cars, I've got some of them, not all of them here that I'm gonna showcase for you. I've gone with the licensed ones. And there's also the Portal, which is part of the Smart Track. And then of course there is the Hot Wheels ID app. Of, like I said, there's the, those are the three main components. We'll showcase them today, but please understand that these are Hot Wheels as you know them. You can drive them down the driveway, crash them, throw them, display them on the wall like I tend to do. Whatever you want to do from a collector standpoint, from a kid play standpoint, you can do. You can definitely race them on your standard track. You can also incorporate this portal in with the standard track. We'll get to that in a little bit. But then you can also play these cars. You can also have an online identity with each one of these cars uh, on the new Hot Wheels ID app. All right. I'm going to walk through this best I can, but the best way for you to discover the product is to do it yourself. Go to an Apple store, check it out. Uh, maybe buy a few cars, maybe buy the track, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I've been able to kind of watch the development of Hot Wheels ID over the last while. It's been exciting to, to watch it develop over time. I've even been able to give a little bit of my own two cents on a couple of things, and I think that this definitely has a place for collectors, and over time it will have even more of a place for collectors, which is exciting to see. Should we get to it? Let's get to it. We're going to start with the cars, then we'll move to the track in part two. I'll obviously be talking about it a little bit, but this is a Hot Wheels ID car. I've got the licensed ones that Mattel sent to me out. There's uh, Behind me, there's a couple others that are non-licensed. You can check those out at the Apple Store. I want to focus on these. One brand new casting, and then several modified for Hot Wheels ID, meaning they got guts now. That's right there. And they are all track compatible. So there's been some changes between the cars themselves, the actual castings from the old basic version to the new track version, just to make sure that they can whip around on the, uh, on the loops and all that kind of stuff. This is the one casting that I know of right now that is brand new. Phil Reelman designed these cars. He's been with Hot Wheels forever. He's designed these and worked with the ID team to make sure that they are compatible for ID. He's had to incorporate the chips as well. And we should just get right to it. This is the packaging that these will come in. I think this will retail about $7 or $8 each. We'll get to the cars themselves. You can see you've got the identification of the car here and the artwork. You have the car itself inside and then a bunch of cool information. Scan me. I'm one of a kind because it is some of the information here on the back. And then you'll cut this open, and this is what you will see inside. We'll move this off to the side. You can see 
secondary packaging here, including freeze the screen, a great description of what Hot Wheels ID is. Still about the cars on the track, it's still about driving them around, crashing them, doing whatever you want to, but also putting them online, a place where young minds can discover limits that are meant to be challenged and where they can safely connect to a world around them. So you can race these cars with your friends online, which is very, very cool. There is so much to discover here, I just can't do it all, but I'm going to get to the cars because that is what I do with Lamley. This goes out here, I'm going to move this off to the side. And here is a Hot Wheels ID car. Like I said, this is an original casting, the Lamborghini Miura. It looks beautiful. You can start by, let's just look at some of the details. These are the wheels that all the Hot Wheels ID castings will use. It's kind of a new spoke. Has kind of a modern and classic feel to it from Hot Wheels standpoint. Some of these will have these yellow line or some other colored tire on it. These are plastic wheels, obviously, because these have to be track compatible. You can see all the little details there. We'll get to those in just a little bit. Um, obviously, every car has a clear plastic base and a chip inside to be able to read all of the data that this car is going to start accruing as you play with it, as it drives around on the track or everywhere else, the laps it runs, the speeds it goes. All that kind of stuff is going to be monitored via this chip. You can also see that this runs with a bit of a Spectre Flame paint. This is very similar to what you see on Super Treasure Hunts. That's the uh, impression that I have on this, is that it looks very much like a Super Treasure Hunt color. Some have more details than others. Well, I should say more graphics than others. Details are full. These can be considered premium decos because they'll have all of the detail on the side and on the back. And that Lamborghini is pretty cool, an original casting. We will see many more. There's These will be released in batches just like Hot Wheels typically are. Um, so you'll see this is the first batch. Like I, said, like I said, there's more cars in here. You'll see that on the app. You can download the Hot Wheels ID app right now if you want. You can see the cars that are available in the first mix, and there will be other mixes to come. I've seen some of the cars, and they are very much collector compatible, if you want to say that. Um, there's some really cool cars on their way out as well. All right, should we look at all these cars? Let's open them up. All right, let's focus on the models themselves like they were just standard Hot Wheels cars. And you will see that uh, if this was released on a blister, I think people would be very, very excited about it. This, all these castings, like I said, except for the Mira, are original Hot Wheels castings, castings or at least that we've seen in the past. This is the Pagani Waira. They're calling it the Roadster. This is actually just the Waira. Really cool details, kind of an Italian flag detail on the Pagani. The wheels, you can see, they can do a lot of different stuff with these new ID wheels. This one goes with the gold spokes and a blue line tire. Full, run, full front and rear detail, and of course, Every car has a chip in the bottom. And what you see now in real life, you will also see on the Hot Wheels ID app. We'll get to that a little bit. Aston Martin 177, Spectre Flame copper color with black and yellow detailing. This one goes with black rims, like a, with a yellow, um, yellow lipped black rims, right? And then I guess that looks like a white line tire on it. Next up casting that has always been track compatible because it has that upslope chin that I have not really enjoyed in the past. But in this case, considering what these cars are purposed for, I think this one looks cool. I love the white rims on it. And I love the racing deco from the uh, for the SRT Viper. Very nice. We'll go from the back here. Another one that I have been critical in the past because of its upslope chin, but again, this one works. Now, I've always wanted the cars to look as realistic as possible, so it's always been my thought that the upslope chin just do track compatible cars. But in this case, where these cars are meant for the track, entirely meant for the track, I can argue that, you know, some will argue that all Hot Wheels are supposed to be, be for the track, and yes and no, but these specifically with the smart track or with the regular track, the fact that you're going to start accruing data on these, on how fast and how far they've driven, how many laps they've driven, they gotta be on the track. So the modifications made to these castings is all cool with me. You'll see this made very clear here with the new Mercedes AMG GT. We know this casting, we've seen it in the basics. Here's how the fronts look different. 
Hot Wheels minimized it as much as they could. The design team, or Phil, in, in this case, I'm assuming Phil made the, the modifications on this casting. So you can see that the chin is sloped up a little bit to make it zip through the loops the best it can. But it doesn't really take away from the casting itself. I would not be as excited about Hot Wheels ID if it was just a bunch of unlicensed models. So I am all for this, especially since because we already have a basic version that looks fantastic that already has all of the right proportions. See, that's the perfect world. Have a track compatible version and one that's not. Lamborghini doesn't need to be because it's already got that line that works out perfectly. That might be one of the reasons they picked it. And the Nissan GTR, you can check the noses. You can see they are definitely different, but not as bad as maybe they could have been. And look how cool the car looks. I love that they went pearl white, plain pearl white, the wheels look cool. I like that they picked the red line tires because it looks somewhat like the Nismo trim on the GTR. It's not really where the trim goes, but it kind of works, right? That color combination. I think this is a very, very cool car. Those are some of the models. There's a Tesla out there. There's a Dodge Charger. Um, a few others out there. I'm trying to remember. Oh, a Bone Shaker for sure um, that you can definitely check out. Will there be chases? I've told there's chases. I don't know what they're called. I don't know how to find them. I'm sure all those details will start coming out as these cars are made. And if they share them with me and they want me to show them, I'll definitely show them. Um, will there be a lot more realistic castings? They're working on them all the time. The future of Hot Wheels ID is just like the future of the Hot Wheels Basics and Premiums. We're going to see new castings. We're going to see new colors. These will all continue to come out. Some of the castings that are most popular in Basic, and I don't know, maybe Premium, I don't know, you'll start seeing an ID. Will we have people waiting by the Apple Store to run in to see what's next? I'm sure we will. Grabbing them, scanning them, seeing if there's a chase involved or something like that. It will create a whole new world of collecting. That is for sure. Those are just the cars. That's without anything. Just putting a car like I would on the wall display. Those are the Hot Wheels cars, but there is so much more to them. It starts with this. Let's walk through this real quickly and then part two will get more into the track. But you buy your car, it has a specific ID. And the only way to, to pull that out is to scan it via your phone or via this ID portal, which you can see will either it can be attached, it doesn't really show here on the portal, but you can actually attach it to standard track or embed it in the new smart track, which we'll get to in a little bit. Turn it on. Pull up the Hot Wheels ID app, bring your car in, drive it through, and there it is on your app. Now you can earn points. Now the, this is where I won't get into it. You, can, you and your friends and your kids can discover it yourselves, and you kids out there, start driving on the track, start accruing laps, distance. That will create more playtime on the app and vice versa. You can go back and forth and back and forth, and we'll get into that as we cover the track or we show off the track. But ultimately, the world of Hot Wheels ID is yours to discover. It's mine to preview for you and just kind of show you. But all the stuff out there, that's well beyond me and for you to discover once you get to the Apple Store and pick up a couple of these cars and maybe the track or, or the portal, whatever, it's all there. There you go. Thanks to Hot Wheels for letting me showcase these cars. Let's go beat them up on the track here in part two. For now, that is the world of Hot Wheels ID. Get to the track now. Thanks, everyone. Bye.